Ms. Vinny Johari, the director of Microsoft Education. I think despite her very busy schedule, she's joined us, motivate us, and Vinny uh, Johari, please take over and it's all yours. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Parveena. Uh, uh, thank you for inviting me to this wonderful forum. And first of all, let me congratulate you uh, and the team uh, for taking this wonderful initiative. And Tiff, and you are doing your best to enable and empower schools uh, to help them uh, embrace teams for online learning and collaboration. One of the finest platforms, a very secure platform uh, that Microsoft is offering, uh, catering to the highest levels of security and privacy. And uh, teachers and principals, uh, several schools have embraced this in a very short period of time. We have more than 30 to 40 schools that are using Teams very effectively. Uh, almost, uh, uh, you know, over the last uh, two to three weeks, uh, we have worked with these institutions, the Sri Ram Group of Schools, Dhirubhai Ambani International School, British School. Uh, we have uh, several other schools such as DPS, chains of DPS schools, Titan World School, who have uh, completely uh, taken on teams. They are not only doing remote classes uh, through teams, uh, they are doing assessments, examinations, well-being sessions such as yoga and science clubs, tinkering clubs. Uh, they are doing student admissions to the school on teams. Uh, they are engaging with parents doing PTAs with teams. So amazing examples and they are very happy. And all this is being facilitated through remote training on teams uh, through online methods. So um, a great opportunity is there and we are very happy to partner with you, um, Parveena and Dr. Jagdish. And let us know if you need any help or support. We are always with you and Microsoft stands by you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Vinnie Johari. And uh, all the audience out there, that was Vinnie Johari, the director of Microsoft Education. And thank you so much for your time. Despite your busy schedule, you've been here with us, motivating us to go online. And not just that, you're offering us so much of support and help to also embrace this uh, high-end technology and take it to the other schools. I have no words to thank you, Winnie. So we'll stay connected and I'll reach out to you very soon. Thank you, Winnie. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Jagdish, can I uh, go on with uh, the Microsoft team presentation or would you want Dr. Rajit sir to take over to say a few words? Dr. Rajit is here with us. He has just joined, so he can please say a few words, sir. Uh, good morning, everyone. Very happy to join with you, all of you. But unfortunately, there is some uh, technical issue. I'm not able to join uh, through video. And all of you know that today's scenario, what is happening in the uh, world, we have to extend it further. Was worst because uh, as per the statistics, uh, Tamil Nadu is number st three state which is been badly affected. And according to the news, what I have from FHRD uh, through my own sources, uh, they have motored to CBSC and UGC schools and colleges only by third week of June. And uh, even if things are going to be all right by the third week of May, but they are advising the UGC. And Central Board of Education and the different uh, state, board, uh, state boards examinations uh, to start the schools only by third week of June. If that is going to be the scenario, and the entire academic activity of our schools will get uh, jeopardized, and uh, they may allow the central government may allow to conduct only the pending examinations from the second week of May. And uh, the regular school will start only by third week of June. And then examination other things will go on by the end of May, sorry, end of June. And from 1st of July, the academic year will start. But maybe at the end of the, instead of February, the CBC may connect, uh, connect the examination in the month of March or 15th of March. That's what I'm presuming. Therefore, there is no time left for us. So we cannot sit ideal and we cannot be uh, staying at home and we have to engage our students and we have to engage our teachers also so but 
since there are so many platforms, but in the news item and in the WhatsApp groups, we have been seeing the problems faced by using the different platform. That is why I had discussion with my technical partner, Dr. Jagdish and Pravina Jagdish, uh, who are the technical partners of Dr. APJ Education Consultancy. And they found and they just suggested that the uh, well-proven platform, uh, Microsoft Team, there is no need for me to give the authenticity or the guarantee for the Microsoft products. And all of you know about the Microsoft products. And uh, luckily now the Microsoft has made a uh, A1 license free and also using uh, use, uh, usage of this uh, Microsoft team as a free of cost to the schools. Uh, but uh, during the course of our discussion and the PowerPoint presentation, Dr. Pravina will explain you what are the features of team, why we should go in for team and how we can set up the teams, all that she's going to tell you. And I thought this is a great opportunity for all the educators and the leaders, our school leaders, to take this opportunity and utilize it and try to uh, make your school online. And as Vinny uh, has pointed out, uh, right from the application and the PTA, and everything can be done through me. So it's a very good platform. I am sure that all the educators get benefited by today's uh, webinar and at the end of the webinar you can uh, raise your questions or in between also you can use the chat box and send your queries at the end of the session uh, dr uh, jagdish and uh, uh, pravina will answer your queries they will also tell you the um, send you a message uh, for your queries which way you have to write so that we will get connected and uh, the help of school skies and I'll, I will take you all the schools uh, as a uh, school online. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, over to Dr. Pravina. Thank you, Dr. Ajit Prasad Jain, sir, uh, for those nice, kind words. And I also thank uh, Vinny Johari for having so much confidence in School Skies and completely partnering as a, with us for the last three years. So, uh, so educators, like we know, online classes is no more the next big thing. It is the now big things. And we all as teachers and educationists want to connect with our students and the teachers, I mean, as teachers. So there's a lot of as we've onboarded a number of schools in Chennai itself in the last just in the last one week, I understood there are a lot of questions in the minds of educationals which pops up. For example, like uh, I am already using another solution, which is an LMS. So what is the difference between an LMS and a virtual classroom? LMS is a mere collection of contents that is put forth by a third party person. The contents can never be personalized by the teachers and it is taken and absorbed as such by the students. Whereas why as a teacher do you want to go online? Because you want to stay in touch with your students. You want to have that real time feel of your classrooms either through voice or through videos or by sharing the content that you have created. So the difference is that teacher here is creating her own contents and channels which can be shared and collaborated among teachers and students. So that's a very important point to note. Now quickly coming to one of the wonderful virtual classroom tools for you, which is Microsoft Teams, which has been widely spoken about and used by some of the best schools. So what is uh, Teams? Apart from just being a virtual classroom, it is a collaborative teaching learning tool where you can uh, bring in all the students, teachers and educators under one single hub. You can also connect with teachers outside of your own space. Apart from that, it is personalized and accessible, which means it allows students with uh, challenged abilities also to join. It has a lot of features and it has got uh, features like immersive readers, which helps a lot of you know, uh, people with uh, challenges also to uh, make the platform useful for them. And third and the most important thing is it is an extremely safe and secure and scalable platform as we can all vouch for the Microsoft Teams. 
So what are the various uh, tools that Microsoft Team offers is one thing I would uh, want to just uh, ensure is that it is a very specific offering for education segment. Unlike the other apps which are all for the enterprise segments, every single thing is here made for the school segment. As I walk through the presentation, you will understand that better. You can set up the virtual classroom typically replicating your physical classroom. There is live interaction between the students during classes. You can conduct classes in different sections, which means segregated workspaces, and you can integrate with various communication tools, and it can be personalized to meet your school needs. And what more, you can support up to 250 attendees opposed to other apps which could just be 100 or 100 and odd attendees. So up to 250 people can join at our go.